So Bob Larson had a debate with me last night, or I should say debate, and the reason why I put uh, quotations around that is because he wasn't having a debate with me, but rather my videos without me being present. And he did this with a live audience, and we're here to talk about that. First, I want to go and get this out of the way. Uh, I was not aware that it was a debate until the day of. We were about four hours away from the video happening, the live happening, and I was looking over Bob's content to show my wife what Bob's all about, and I just so happened to see in big, bold, red letters, debate in the middle of the title. I'll put it somewhere here so that you guys can see that. A guy by the name of Eddie reached out to me and picked me and uh, to have this conversation, so I was uh, excited. Uh, you know, there was a time period where I watched a lot of Bob's videos. And although me and Bob do not see eye to eye with a lot of different things, uh, we believe very differently, I still wanted to have a discussion with him. should also be noted that he does not have debates on his YouTube channel. I looked uh, pretty thoroughly, at least as far as his lives go. Uh, he does not have like debates, heated discussions, but he titled it as a heated discussion with me. I was not aware of this until once again, uh, the day of. So I reached out to Eddie and said, hey, I don't do debates, nor did I plan for one. I'm not okay with this. I should have had prep time. In fact, I have an email asking Eddie uh, days prior to what I needed to prepare for. What was the topic going to be about? And he told me um, demonic possession and the paranormal in general. Uh, if you're not going to ask me about very, very specific books of the Bible, then I'm not going to prepare for very specific discussions, deep theology, defending certain books, which is something that Bob wanted to do with me. Me and Bob actually spoke on the phone because Eddie talked to Bob about me not wanting to talk with Bob that night. So Eddie said, Bob's going to call you back in five minutes. So I waited for Bob to call. Me and Bob talked. We talked for a little under 14 minutes. I told him my issues with uh, the live discussion that was coming up, and I honestly admitted to him that it feels it felt like an ambush. I was honest with him. I also had a little bit of a debate with him on the phone, and I enjoyed the conversation. It should be noted that I actually enjoyed it very much. I even told him that and said, I am willing to, with proper prep time, come back the following week to have a discussion so that I could be prepared. Bob didn't like that. And he went on to say, well, if you're not going to show up tonight, then we have a little bit of a problem because uh, people are waiting on this conversation. I said, well, be that as it may, I'm, I'm not, it doesn't sit right with me to do this. So Bob went on to have a conversation without me. I did not even watch it. My wife did. She was not happy. <laughs> she was quite upset. But there's something interesting about Bob Larson that I asked him a question about the Book of Enoch, about the fundamental difference between fallen angels and demons. Once again, on the phone call, he called me, he reached out to me, and Bob, you know what? You have my phone number now. You can reach out to me whenever you feel like. I brought up the fact that Isaiah Saldivar also believes that there is a fundamental difference between fallen angels and demons, and that demons are the disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. Bob's response was to laugh and then start to talk about the things that they have so much in common with, and that there's obviously things they don't have in common with. And he said, well, I've had them on my show. Well, I knew this. That's why I brought up Isaiah. Isaiah is another member of the Deliverance Ministry space. So he starts to um, backpedal a little bit by saying that we haven't discussed that on my show. And I said, but you want to discuss it with me. You and Isaiah are in your own corner. You are basically using me as an outlier, but that's what I was. I was an outlier. I am an outlier. I am not in the Deliverance Ministry space, yet I consider myself an exorcist. Now, according to my wife, because she is the one that watched this, you claimed that I backed out of the debate knowing it was a debate. That is a lie. If that is what you said, you lied on your life. If this were a boxing match, you essentially, what you did was you were prepared to ambush me, beat the absolute hell out of me, despite the fact that you were acting like it was just going to be a sparring match. You took a dummy, slapped a picture of my face on it, and proceeded to hit it as hard as you could. That is what you have done. I don't appreciate it. I will not be back to have a discussion with you live or debate you any longer. I'm no longer interested. In conclusion, I'll say this, Bob. When I saw the direction that things were going, despite being upset about you going live without me and continuing to talk about me, yeah, I, 
me being upset about that. Overall, I feel just disappointment. I'm not mad, Bob. I'm disappointed. All right, and that's it. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next video.